In this tutorial video we're going to give the briefest of introductions to solving logarithmic equations. So an example of a logarithmic equation would be log to the base 4 of x equals 2. So what number would have to go there to get the answer 2? Well we can see by inspection that this one is x equals 16 because we raise 4 to the power of 2 to get 16. But sometimes they're not that simple. For example, log to the base 3 of x equals 0.4. Now there's no obvious answer to that particular equation, so we're going to go through the theory now of how to solve that. First of all, a couple of things that we should type in our calculator to familiarise ourselves with the concepts here. 7 to the power of log to the base 7 of 2.43 6 to the power of log to the base 6 of 7.14 5 to the power of log to the base 5 of 8.37 So let's type these in the calculator 7 to the power of log to the base 7 of 2.43 gives that number there which is 2.43 6 to the power of log to the base 6 of 7.14 gives that which is uh, 7.14 and then 5 to the power of log to the base 5 of 8.37 I'm sure you can see where this is going equals yes 8.37 so we dig a little bit deeper we'll see why that's the case this logarithm here is saying log to the base 7 2.43 it's saying what power do we have to give 7 to get 2.43 and whatever that power is we then give that power to 7 to get 2.43. Likewise, what power do we have to give 6 to get 7.14? Then we give 6 that power to get 7.14. What power do we have to give 5 to get 8.37? Then we raise 5 to whatever that power is to get 8.37. So going back to our original equation, trying to solve that, log to the base 3 of x equals 0.4 was the equation. Let's try and solve that. Well we know the opposite now from these examples here. The opposite of log to the base sevening something is sevening it, if such a term exists, seven to the power of it. The opposite of log to the base sixing something is to six it. The opposite of log to the base five something is to five it. So here we're going to three both sides. That means raise both sides as a power of three. Three to the power of both sides. So we get three to the power of log to the base three of x equals three to the power of 0.4. Now this says what power do we have to give three to get x? And then we give three that power to get x equals 3 to the power of 0.4 which if we do with three significant figures which is usually the custom 3 to the power of 0.4 in our calculator is 1.55 to three significant figures so let's do another let's make it a little bit more complicated now let's do log to the base 4 of x take log to the base 4 of x minus 2 equals 0.7 so there's nothing we can yet do here because the lo there's logarithm terms scattered all over the place for this to be solved we need a single term on each side so what we're first going to do is combine these using logarithm laws so we're going to use the subtraction rule to combine these the subtraction rule which you need to know you need to learn that log a minus log b equals log of a over b 
So write that more clearly. Log A minus log B equals log of A over B, just to make it a bit more clear. Yeah. Right, OK. So doing this question now, combining them using that rule, log to the base 4 of x over x minus 2. So what this rule says here is that when we subtract two logarithms, we divide the contents, provided they've got the same base, equals 0 0.7. Now at this stage, we're in a good position now to solve. We can unlog. We can 4 to the power of both sides. We can 4 both sides. Log to the base 4 of x over x minus 2 equals 4 to the power of 0 0.7. I've made both sides a power of 4. I've forward both sides. Again, that's not official terminology. So here this asks, what power do I have to give 4 to get x over x minus 2? Then I give 4 that power to get x over x minus 2 equals 4 to the power of 0.7. Then multiplying both sides by x minus 2, I get x equals... 4 to the 0 0.7 times x minus 2. Multiplying out the brackets, x equals 4 to the 0 0.7 x minus 4 to the 0 0.7 times 2. Getting all the x's onto one side, x minus 4 to the 0 0.7 x equals minus 4 to the 0 0.7 times 2. Factorising out x, x bracket 1 minus 4 to the power of 0 0.7 equals minus 4 to the 0 0.7 times 2. Then dividing by the number attached to x, I get x equals minus 4 to the 0 0.7 times 2 over... 1 minus 4 to the 0 0.7, which type in the calculator, minus 4 to the power of 0 0.7 times 2 over 1 minus 4 to the power of 0 0.7, which gives me 3.22 to 3 significant figures. Now, using the equation solver on the calculator, I can actually verify that this, this answer is true. So, log to the base 4 of, and the x button's in the top right-hand corner there, type in the equation in, the original equation, which is here. Log to the base 4 of x, take log to the base 4 of x minus 2. Then equals, we're going to use this red we're going to use this red equal sign here. So just above the calc button. So alpha equals 0 0.7. Then we're going to solve using this yellow solve button. So shift and press the calc button, which gives us the solve function. Now x equals 10 isn't the answer. What this calculator function does, it searches for an answer from the point here. So if we press equals, 10 is just our start point for the search. Press equals. That will give us our answer, which is indeed 3.22. We've got it correct. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.